four headshots with one bullet on a moving target on Wake Island. What an incredible clip from Sinful. A really nice one to start the episode off. Moving on, we're going to be getting two clips sent in from BZH Decada. The first one, a triple collateral on Rotterdam. Slow it down. Pretty nice stuff to start things off. But the real clip that he sent in that I want to show you is a 10-man sniping feed on Aerodrome. It's one of the only times I've seen somebody grab 10 kills in one streak. And it's incredibly cool to see. on it's damn and he's going to be playing on wake island firing a piat into the distance trying to take out that plane misses it but picks up maybe the same plane or a different one in the distance two clips sent in from daz the first is going to be on a game of twisted steel grind looking at enemies in the distance getting some headshots the second is a super clean five man once again on twisted steel One of my favourite players in the top plays has sent me another bunch of clips. He usually does this every two to three weeks. This one is a very special selection. The first on Aerodrome. Well, he manages to rack up some major headshot kills with his Lee Enfield in the Scout class. A nice streak to start things off. Enemy bloody Scout spotted over there! The enemy has armed As I said, he did send in a selection. I'll be including two more in today's episode. The second one is on Pacific Storm. Just as the storm appears to be hitting, some flashes of lightning in the distance. A nice few kills to start us off before he makes his way over further towards the objective on Alpha, grabbing a couple of very nice headshots. Some of them do look slightly suspect, but I know this guy is an incredibly good player, and they can all be explained when you look at his crosshair placement and the accuracy that he consistently gets through these clips. A really nice one. And finally, we're looking at Wake Island at a really nice sniper. <laughs> This episode of The Top Plays is sponsored by Instant Gaming. If you're looking for some cheap games and you want to help out the channel at the same time, check out the link in the description down below. There are keys there for PC, Xbox and PS4. For all the games that you might want to play, including Battlefield, check out the link down below. Three clips sent in from Rapduck showcasing the three arguably most broken weapons in the game right now, especially for close quarters. They do need a bit of a balance, I think. A lot of the weapons in the game do need looking at, especially after the 5.2 update with the TTK. The first clip is with the 12G shotgun. This is how strong it is. Spam a couple of hip fire shots up the stairs, rack yourself up a big point streak. A couple actually in that first clip. The second, well, he's using the original meme cannon, the Suomi. This thing has a 50 round magazine, can be hip fired to your heart's content in close quarters, and against enemies that, well, they do shoot back but they don't do a great job of it, you can get yourself a massive point stack. That's exactly what he does on Bravo Objective.
and finally using the newest addition to this hateful collection of weapons I always die to in close quarters it's the Nambu Type 2A and once again a shorter streak but clearing out Bravo with a big point stack. Moving on to a bit of Rotterdam Conquest, it's Enders using the ZK in the Medic class, getting himself a lot of kills on enemy players. Fantastic accuracy and aiming. His positioning is always spot on, I feel, for these interesting clips. He doesn't just sit back and camp, and he also doesn't rush in like a headless chicken. He gets a good balance between the two. Sitting just off Charlie objective, it's a tricky objective to cap this one, especially if you're on your own. If you look at the minimap, there's only a couple of people around him looking to help out. Enemies are dropping from the sky. Manages to get that guy without too much trouble and then pushes in towards Charlie. The next clip is from Umar Kings, a nice flag clear and flank on Rotterdam Alpha objective. clips from Victor Scar. Using the Type 2A, I have cut down on the amount of Type 2A clips we are having in the top plays. I feel like the gun is just a bit too overused right now and people are starting to get bored of it. That being said, this is a nice one on the outside section on Alpha on Operation Underground, starting off with a really nice point streak. Just over 2,000 points eventually as he sits on the objective the entire time, then goes across to the other side of the objective to find the rest of the enemy players. The second clip is a much shorter one, this time playing on Fiel 652. In the Assault class, starts by launching a load of grenades and piats into the distance, picks up a big multi-kill, then go the dynamites. Once again, getting some hit markers, tries his luck with another one, picks up a kill, then pushes in with the STG. A whole lot of kills right after spawning. Vitalijus is next. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Playing on Rotterdam, sitting back on Bravo Objective, just scoping in seeing what's in the distance spots a scope fires a shot gets a triple collateral one of the luckiest triple collats i've seen he didn't even know there were two more guys behind him managing to get three kills and you can tell he's surprised next up a clip from gru gaming he's going to be playing on aerodrome getting nine headshots in a row we did see 10 in a row at the very start of this video but nine in a row is no mean feat playing on a game of outpost he flanks to the side of these enemy players. You can see a couple of enemies just sitting back, unaware that he's up here, managing to grab a couple of kills in that first streak. Unfortunately, the streak does break as he gets the reload in. Only five rounds in this sniper rifle, so difficult to pick up any more than five in a row unless you're on an objective or using the spotting flares. Again, a couple of players in the distance taken out. A really nice clip. J 
general patterns coming in with something a little bit different. Playing on a Ras, he's dropping down in this half track, spotting enemies in front of him and gunning them down. A load of kills with what I think is the M3 half track. A really nice clip. Three Battlefield 1 clips to finish off today's episode. The first from Alex Tovey. He's actually sent in two clips. The first is a really awesome attack plane kill, bombarding the enemy players, picking up a massive point stack. Difficult to keep count of it, but nearly 2,000 points in that one, which is not exactly the easiest thing to do with the attack plane. Once again, a little flurry of points and a couple more kills with the second pass. His second clip, though, is not going to be in a plane. This is going to be on the ground with the SMG-08. Do you remember how good that gun was when DICE buffed it? It used to be the worst gun in the game, then it was the best. A couple of tanks, a couple of mines, and a big explosion, managing to get, once again, a massive point stack. And finally today, an absolute beast of a clip. This is Dexter playing on Argon Forest, He's running in the assault class with, of course, a boomstick, looking for enemy players to dismantle. This Model 10A, I've said it a hundred times, it's incredible. Go back and play BF1 and just use this thing. It feels like you're firing a portable cannon, and it will also do a lot of damage. So it's nice that the, the noise it makes and the actual animations and the sound and everything put together actually deals a lot of damage at the same time. Moving into this objective on Bravo, it can be really tricky to get this, especially if they have the doorways camped. Fortunately for him, he he runs in, meets up with the rest of the friendlies, and then gets to work, smashing the enemies and capping the objective. He then continues on a complete rampage for about another 60 seconds. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Remember to send your clips in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com for a chance to be featured, and I'll catch you in the next episode.